What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another CHH now. And tonight, I want to tell you why Joey Vontaze is winning in Christian hip hop. But before I tell you that, I need you to do one thing hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. The notification bell will allow you to know every time I drop a video, and I've been dropping videos like hotcakes as of late. But Early on today, I did a video basically saying that the Cruise Hip Hop Corner was sent a cease and desist letter from Joey Vontaz and his camp because the crew reported that the game shouted out Joey Vontaz's new project, but he brought it on Cameo. So he's flexing super hard. So they've been going back and forth. The crew's been going back and forth on Twitter. I've been watching Twitter on my phone like crazy. It was crazy. Man, and Joey Vontaze had the clap back of the century. Let's go right here. So, as you can see, Joey Vontaze is up there and he's basically talked to the crew. You know, he's talking to the crew, but he says, Legend fam, saddle up and ride with me and feel all your support and how you stood beside me. You learn real quick who's real and who's fake. Throw up emoji. Assumption is a hell of a drug. Let's go make them all feel less. P.S. I'm on Cameo, baby. Careless featuring Isaiah Ziff. Let's run it up. So here's what Joey Vontaze says. Oh, hey. I didn't notice you there. Matter of fact, I don't even know how I got here. Considering the fact that I don't have an assistant, an agent, a manager, a label, a legal team. Hmm. How did I get here? It's a miracle. But while I'm here, I might as well discuss a couple of topics with you. First and foremost, shout out to my beautiful wife, who, by the way, is a marketing genius. My wife got me a wonderful gift of a video shout out from the game, and I'm so glad she did. When I got it, I almost flipped backwards, man. I was so excited about it. And I didn't have no regrets in sharing it. I would do it again and again and again. Never said the game's the homie. Never said I know him personally. It was a shout out, and I gladly shared it. So if you got an email from my team, specifically Watson, <laughs> take that as a gesture of kindness, because what follows is not so pretty. Oh, snap. Thank you all, though, for doing your thing. I appreciate you. Y'all helping the numbers run up. Thank you so much. And the song and the title of the EP say it all. That's why it's called Careless. You feel me? If you need a video shout out from me today only for $1.99, hit up my team at Signature Sound. And we will gladly get that for you. Ooh, you suck. P.S. Before I let you go, understand people get mad when you're indie and you're killing it and you're doing everything right organically. People get mad. Let them get mad. Let their blood boil. But at the end of the day, small minded people talk about people. Big minded people talk about creative ideas. So let's get to the next creative idea. Careless EP coming soon. I do not want to get flagged for that video right there. But my man B plus like, I ah, got him, got him. And let's do the receipt, shall we? Let's go to Cameo. We pull up, Joey Vontaze is there. Joey Vontaze says, as an independent artist, Vontaze has already managed to capture licensing deals with HBO, Starbucks, Nike, and Christian Dior. Over 52 million streams and top 50 billboards, right? Right? So, I know what you're thinking. You like, well, lucky, dang. This brother's winning. He came back so hard. But I got more receipts for this man to show y'all. Perception is everything. And you can you cannot always assume what you think is right. So let, let's let's go to this thing real quick. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna show y'all some stats real quick. All right. So this is Joey Vontas's sound chart page. It shows you exactly his following. It's, it's kind of a, it's not a rough estimate, but it's give and take pretty accurate. So as we see his IG following is 26,000, almost 27,000. His Facebook fans almost, uh, is 5,100. His YouTube subscribers, 70, 17,000, almost 18,000. Spotify followers, almost 25,000. And Deezer fans is 860. As you can see, if you do his, if you go to his charts, so his chart. So right. So right here, I'm gonna pull up his charts. Right. These are all the charts that he has charted. Right. So basically, I'm trying to organize it in order real quick because I want y'all to feel me and follow me real quick. So 
uh, his his song "Show Me" was number one on iTunes in Japan. He had a number two record, "Save Us." I mean, he had. Look at this. I'm a, I'm gonna stroll down because I want y'all to see exactly. These are all the the charts that Joey Fontes has been on in all different types of countries: top ten, top twelve, top twenty, just singles, man. Uh, and he's an independent artist. So let's say his album. Let's go to his albums real quick, and this shows you in real time exactly where this brother's at, right? The Legends Never Die, his last project that he dropped was number three on the iTunes charts. It was also number 13 uh, on the iTunes charts overall in the United States, and it made it number three in New Zealand. And let's look at playlists, for example. These are all the playlists that Joey Fontes is on. All the playlists is on. Look look at this. Look at this. Playlist after playlist after playlist. And these ain't no janky playlists. Some of these playlists are actually Spotify ran playlists. Okay? There's a lot of playlists on. Uh, he's getting airplay. So I'm going to pull up airplay. I'm going to pull up airplay. This this, this uh, site also show you airplay. This brother's track. What track was it? Worthwhile. Uh, he's featured on it actually. is being spun in Canada. So as we can see right now, peoples, this brother right here is doing a lot in the game right now a and i it, it bothers me sometimes because people are quick to assume all these different things like i said before i looked at joey vontaze numbers i'm like man he, he ain't faking the funk if anything that feature or that shout out that the game did was to help him solidify what he's already doing it's a marketing budget it's a marketing budget and people didn't realize is that for 300 bucks, you could pay somebody on Cameo to shout you out that you will go and in turn use that for promotion on your own page. You see what I'm saying? If I had Charlamagne the God say, yo, look out for your boy Lucky Murray, whoop, whoop, he does whoop, whoop, that would mean more to me than it would Charlamagne because my audience who follow me may also know Charlamagne the God, which we're both from South Carolina. So I feel like, look here, man. If somebody's winning, somebody's winning, somebody's winning, you can't explain it all. And the fact that he even put out that video, the fact that he did put out a cease and desist, a de a desist letter, the fact that ultimately those numbers got ran up because a lot of people wanted to know, man, what is this Joey Vontez? What is he doing? And a lot of people found out about Joey Vontez today because of the little beef situation that happened on Twitter. Featuring the Crucible Corner. So more of the story. Never assume anything. And don't always jump on the bandwagon. A lot of people want to jump on a bandwagon because they want to they want people to 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 hear them, to to make them, oh well, you know, make them feel good about themselves. Nah, man. Like be your own person. That's the way you're gonna win. And I love it, man. I love it. I even checked out the record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, and the record's dope. Joey Vontez always comes through. One of my favorite artists in the CHH game right now. Independent, killing it. I need you to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Who do you think had the upper hand right now? Do you think Joey Vontez is winning over the Cruise Hip Hop Corner? Yeah. I I think, hey, man, I don't know, man. I, I think I think the Cruise took an L right now. <laughs> I, think that, I think the Cruise took an L. Uh, but let me know what you think about the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back from another CHH Now. And Joey Vontaze is winning in CHH Now. He got an album released on October 2nd. This is the $300 he spun on the game. He made that 10 times today with the amount of free press that he got only from the CHH Twitter community going ham because they thought that he was faking the funk. Well, you're wrong. Joey Fontaine ain't faking anything. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But uh, until next time, people.